Hi, Ray. I hope everything is well with you. Uh, this will be some video feedback on 3-1, your milestone one. Uh, Ray, this is what I see when I open up your package. And uh, good on you for remembering to uh, supply a PDF of collected screenshots of your progress. That's often off overlooked. You know, process is really important in graphic design. Then I see that you've gotten uh, all of your images, too, uh, with it. And uh, presumably they are the, the uh, layer-adjusted images from Photoshop. I'm gonna, I think I'll begin by looking at your process document. That's usually the most interesting to me. Um, here I see your silhouette. And you'll be putting together you know, perhaps a slightly longer um, process document like this for your final reflection at the end of the class where you'll discuss your, you know, technical hurdles um, in the print ad as well as in the animation, which is coming up. So I really appreciate your annotations here. Uh, it's, it's, you, you, have you taken publication design? Just curious. Um, your typography is clear and simple. And then you go uh, through the process of how you've added all the ingredients, move things around a bit, and your rationale for doing so. Nice job. This is clear and simple. I like that you've bled off all four sides. Um, you're just comparing like two basic images. You know, what would be nice is if you had uh, the silhouette uh, of the amethyst crystals jut up into the silhouette of the sunset. Not the silhouette, but the uh, image of the sunset. You know, almost as if this was a giant rock on the foreground of the, of the beach. Um, your file organization is exemplary. I can turn things on or off. Uh, you might consider having um, layers for each of the components, including the text and the, or separating the text from the logo. And I, I think, you know, my preference is the freestanding logo without the um, circumscribed box from the corporate style PDF. But, you know, you, everybody's preferences uh, is different. I like this box up here. Uh, it's fairly elegant. And uh, think about typographic hierarchy. Um, you know, so far you've got uh, two sizes of type, and that's good that you're limiting it. Um, but, you know, what, what do you want them to see first, second, so forth? And this, this box, I think, hairline box around this copy uh, looks pretty elegant to me. Um, if you have a tagline, though, I think you're going to want to make it larger. This uh, type can be very, sm uh, very small. You know, I, I would consider making it tiny indeed. It doesn't have to be large, just uh, merely visible. Whoops. Oh, see, I can do that. Now, if I rearrange this and bring this on top here, here's kind of what I meant. I don't know, you know, it may not appeal to you, um, and you might have to make this quite a bit larger. But it might be one way to, first of all, capitalize on that silhouette that you made. Very nice, by the way. And um, simplify, make this one image rather than two contrasting images. Again, it's just a suggestion. You have to uh, observe your own sensibilities or honor your own sensibilities. Ray, I'm, I'm not sure what else to say about this. Um, you might consider a tagline up here, you know, maybe in a slightly larger type. Uh, by way, but I like the uh, the simplicity of this hairline text box and pretty much almost all the copy contained within it. And then maybe the contact information at the bottom discreetly. Uh, <clears throat> you'll keep the focus on the important things, which are, you know, beach, sunset, and amethyst crystal. I guess I'll end it here. Um, if you feel I've given you short shrift or if you need more feedback, uh, you know, don't hesitate to reach out either by... Um, email or even by text. I bid you strength rate.